Have you ever heard of the Modoc War? You probably haven't. You probably have heard of Custer's Last Stand. And that's because the history books like it that way. It's easy to digest. It conjures up an image, an image of a white man surrounded by savages who are out for blood. It's much harder to digest the story of the Modoc War. Because how do you explain that the Modoc left the reservation not to kill or wage war, but because the U.S. placed them on a reservation with their tribal enemies? How do you explain that their actions were justified? And yet the army was sent there with orders to remove them. Peaceably if you can, forcibly if you must. The U.S. sent an army, and they were shooting howitzer cannons into caves where children slept as their parents fought for their family's survival. You don't. So you leave it out of the history books, and no one learns about it. This is their land. Our senior thesis film aims to change that. We are telling the story of the Modoc War from a Modoc perspective. We've consulted with the author and historian Chiwa James, who wrote the book Modoc, The Tribe That Wouldn't Die, which you should absolutely check out. We've met with the descendants who fought for this land, their land. And we intend to tell this story right. But to do that, we need support, your support. Each of us have already donated $1,500, and we only need $15,000 more to make this film a reality. So if you enjoyed this video, or you want to help us rewrite history and learn of a different perspective that you haven't before, donate. Donate to our film, share our film, encourage your friends to join us, and together we can make this happen. Together we can make a film that's important and tells a story of these brave people with respect that tells the truth. This is the story of Captain Jack. This is the story of the Modoc that returned home and fought to stay there. This is their land.